Hey, what's up? Hope you had a good Saturday. I was doing things here in the house. I had to run some errands. Beautiful day. I would have rather have been on a piece of private land shooting a chip. But life goes on. We got to do other things. Uh, ordered a rice pot because mine shipped a bit. Grabbed a few smalls for the gun stuff. Nothing crazy. But I figured we'd check it out anyway. That's my thing. Let's throw Tony up on the safe. I forgot to do that. Where's Tony want to be? No. Well, you're a magnet. You can go anywhere. No. No. There we go. That's a good uh, silhouette for some painting. What do you think? There? There. Yeah. Cool. Alright. Let's uh, check this out. Nothing really to speak of, but one thing looked interesting, I don't know if it was a bad move, it wasn't a lot of money, it's, it's a stand for the range, because those foam things they have are shit, Cobra Tech, I'm not sure which box is which, right. got some smalls here, I order another set of these, these are awesome. I misplaced some of the other small ones. I'm not quite sure what the exact size is, so it sounds good to have a backup. They're like seven, eight bucks. I figured I'd try this Lucas Gun Oil Gun Grease combo. I've read good things. Now, this is the one I'm interested in. Stuff out of the way. A couple of Magpul QD swing swivels to replace the other ones. Oh, seems a bit smaller than it, what it looked like in the photo. What if I made a mistake? No, oh, no. The name of the company. It's like twenty-five bucks, but it's rigid. It's not foam. It's gonna bounce around on you. Can you fill this with sand or something? This feels like it might pop out. You can fill it. Make it super heavy. Let's, uh, let's test it. Uh, hmm. I mean, I probably wouldn't bring the rear piece. That's more for just a stand here on one of the benches if I'm doing something. As far as... I mean, it's pretty stable. This feels like, yeah. And you can fill that up with water or... Water's probably a good idea if the range has a hose. Or even the sink they have there in the bathroom. Then it won't move at all. And when you're done, you just dump it out. So that might not be a bad idea. I'm just trying to think of what applications make sense. The ones at the range sit about this tall, maybe a bit taller. And you're sitting down. It's got like this textured tape 
kind of surface. I'm just trying to get a gauge on. Usually it'll be the longer guns, right? Where's my, uh, where's my trigger gun? My Noveski. So I'm at the range. Yeah, it'll just offer some stability. What I don't like is when you have the late on there and the BCM QD seems to be hitting it. And the temporary stop gap. It's not bad, I guess. It wasn't much. It was like twenty-four dollars for the set. And once that's filled with water, if you need to do that, I probably won't. I'll just do it dry for the first run. It's very lightweight. Fits in the bag easy. And the only thing that seems to keep it from having a nice solid drop down is the light and more importantly that BCM QD is uh, really messing with it because if you come down this way, well I don't know, I thought maybe it was worth a try. At any rate, let's see what happens if we just... I just want to stand a gun up on my bench while I'm doing something or just to look at it. Okay, let me see if I can stand that up on the... See, that's a bit forward leaning. It's really stable so it'll mostly act as a holder which will save me not having to vice it as much that's solid like that man I think it's a good buy especially if you're working on stuff you don't want to use the vice That's really stable like that. That's not budging. I like it. 25 bucks, huh? Not bad. Uh, I made an attempt to loosen up a couple of these rail screws. I was going to try to put the combat rail over it and thread this just to see if the, cause the combat rail, I think, is a 10 inch. This barrel's 8.6. So I was going to try, you know, just to try it, uh, but I tried two screws, I used heat, and they just kind of strip a bit, they don't really want to come out. They use some heavy duty rock set type shit on this gun. It does not want to break free, and I, and I, I kind of stopped and said, screw it, I'm going to run it as is. I'm sure there's a way to get it out, but everything that's on here really wants to stay on here. I mean, even that tube was a major pain in the fucking ass, but I got that one. The screws, there's not much to grab onto. Wish they would do it with like a uh, T10 Torx kind of hole in it. It's got more, you know, grooves in it to really grab. These six point hexes, they're very easy to strip. So as I started spinning, I was like, you know what, stop. Just, just run the damn thing. You know, I got more than enough to grab onto. The CAG helps me pull it back a little bit for a little bit of stability. So yeah, cool. Maybe there's a way to get those out, but I didn't want to put too much effort into it. I was just curious to see what a longer rail would look like. Uh, and maybe pick up a cheaper, I don't know, like a Foxtrot mic type thing that's like 8 inches or something, just to extend that rail all the way to here. But I'm not going to go down some rabbit hole with it. It's a $749 PCC that I'm going to beat the living shit out of. I'm just going to shoot it. And uh, it's the first foray into AR-based nines. Get me used to that. Still can rep 
all the muscle memory from shooting that with cheaper ammo will still lend to the other guns so all in all it is what it is uh yeah so that's that <coughs> well i hope you're having a great weekend i'm gonna keep on keeping on got some floor washing some laundry to do hopefully tomorrow i can maybe get my ass out there uh we'll see but soon but yeah dude that's solid i'm gonna drop a link to that in the description it's like 20 i think just this was like 17 18 bucks or something like that but the set was like 24.98 or it's it's plastic you know as far as how well put together the plastic is if you're going to fill it with water or sand or whether or not it leaks i don't know but just to have something on your bench as a stand is it for me that's worth 25 bucks once this is all cleared off over on the other bench i can have one gun over there i can have another here i can throw another up here you know it gives it gives you options you know grab the geisley And just be able to, I don't know why you would need so many guns at once to be accessible, but except for like Instagram or some shit, but oh well, it's kind of cool anyway. All right, enjoy your uh, weekend, boys. Yeah, this Lucas gun grease looked interesting. And that's a little needler. Lucas gun oil. My cousin uses this. This is really good stuff, actually. Instead of BCMs, I figured I'd try the Magpuls. I read that they're as durable as the BCMs, but they're a little easier to pull out. I find the BCMs, sometimes you have to kind of struggle with them a bit. These, uh, I mean, it's Magpul, so. I forget which sling I have to upgrade out, but it's pretty easy to check. It's those old ones I bought a year and a change ago. They're really shiny metal, Amazon specials, like 10, 12 bucks. They weren't that much cheaper than the good ones, but at the time I didn't know any better. Uh, so everything will be running on a sling that has proper QDs and swing sling swivels. Uh, and that's about it. Cool. Okay, weekend. See you when I see you. Your pal, Jake Merrick.